Well, good morning, guys. <clears throat> we are here at Waterbury, Connecticut. And uh, this used to be the former Caldor, which is now split up into three different stores. Well, this one is a Planet Fitness now, a Spirit Halloween. And this was something, but I don't know what it was. It turned into a different store. But yeah, this whole space was used to be Caldor that closed down most likely in 1999 when the retail chain went defunct. Let's check out Planet Fitness first. Uh, I was hoping when I looked inside here that was some remnants of uh, Caldor in there, but doesn't look like it and turned into a different store later on. But let's check this whole place out. This is the first time I've been in Connecticut. As you can see, the skies got clear because when I left in the morning, it was like four o'clock. It was pretty damn dark. <laughs> All right, now the skies are clearing up, which is good. I'm also gonna hit up a few more spots, guys. Uh, thank God I have somewhat of an energy to do this today, but the drive back home is gonna be tiring. <laughs> Let's hope it's not too bad. Uh, so I guess this Planet Fitness, uh, Planet Fitness is opening up at seven o'clock. That's what I read online. But let's check this out real quick. Looks pretty nice. And they got the beverages, some uh, vending machine. I don't know what that is. Employees only office. Here we got the counter. It's a nice Planet Fitness, I would say. Here you got the machines. And they got sorts, I guess these are protein bars or whatever over there. some tables over here where you can chill out or eat some other stuff probably some tanning supplies or whatever over there they don't have a lot of windows for this place god i wish there was some remnants of caldo over here which would have been pretty cool i read online one of my subscribers told me that was I think there was a partial caldor all the way down on that left side, but I don't see anything that resembles it. Here's a door. Thank God the, the rain stopped too. <laughs> so here's a spirit Halloween. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to look in there. Oh, I got some view. Some boxes in there. This uh, says it's open soon. So during the Halloween time, most likely will be open. Yeah, you can see some uh, some products there. Some double doors. to the back area too see what's if there's anything interesting over there so here's a partial store that's closed I'm not even sure what it was before <clears throat> some counter it has these old signs. But this looks like it could have been clo uh, closed like five years ago, judging by this. 
Yeah. So this was something else. After Caldor closed like 20 years ago. But as you can see, Yeah, they have the orange layout on the left. What is that? I have no idea. I have no idea what this store was. But I could look up online what it was. No smoking. I have no idea, guys. There's a bucket of paint there. Maybe it could have been a home improvement store. Exit signs. Let's go to the back. <clears throat> I was actually gonna try to come here last week, I think, and um, I was really tired. I I didn't have the energy to do it. I was like, I was gonna go, and I stopped midway, like Mawa, New Jersey, and um, I was like. Forget this, uh, I can't do it. <laughs> I, I did barely had any sleep too. So let's see what's here in the back. I'm pretty sure there'll be dock areas. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to find another abandoned Caldor. The only one I found was in Middletown, New York. And that's probably the only one that's left. Managed by Acre Group. The phone number's there too. Here's the back. The electric panels. Somebody drew something on these walls. No dumping, violators be prosecuted. Yes, sir. -y. That's why I got these dumpsters here. <laughs> Throw it in there at least. <laughs> yeah, so this was uh this is the spirit of Halloween. Somebody looks like they drew a penis on the <laughs> door. Very nice. There's another dumpster. And again, guys, this is the first time I've been to Connecticut. <clears throat> so, yeah, it was a pretty long drive, I'll tell you that much. But I don't see any shipping or receiving docks. See, I think they could have been graffiti here and they painted over it, I don't know. But it could have been over here. That's what I'm thinking. The shipping receiving long time ago probably was over here. Yeah. And this looks like some apartment complex right here. I still gotta get a GoPro. That's one thing I need. It's a back door for Planet Fitness. Well, actually, it could have been right here. This is where the uh, Shipping receiving docks would have been. Yeah, it. Yep, it's right here. Oh, that's pretty nice. See that? Please ring bell sign. I've seen this at another Caldor. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, this is where the shipping receiving docks were. Nice. At least I got some remnant of Caldor, which is right there, that sign. I don't want to ring it because Planet Fitness is here now. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool, guys. At least I found something. There's a dumpster. And here's some side windows of Planet Fitness right here. Yeah. That's some old looking billboards. Pretty rusty. Yeah. Alright, guys, let's get out of here. Uh. 
Next location, I'll probably go to Seymour Court. And, uh, that's about it. So. Seymour Court to see the abandoned Ames if it's still there. Some part of it's still there, I believe. There's some abandoned, abandoned space over there. Could have been something there, like a building. <laughs> Pretty cool. So yes, guys, this used to be the abandoned Caldo, this whole building. Damn, if I was here back like 20 years ago, I would love to see what it looked like. It would have been pretty cool. All right, guys, off to my next location. Peace out.